According to Mental Health Canada, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADHD, affects between 3 and 5 percent of children, more boys than girls. A team of researchers from Alberta Health Services and the University of Calgary is working on a project that could one day help ensure that children who are on ADHD medication are performing up to their academic potential. We are in particular are focused on trying to understand how the medication affects the brain and how it affects behavior and also how it affects learning. We're very interested in trying to see how best we can make sure the medication is improving their learning so that their long-term gains in academic achievement or their classroom behavior are sustained over time. Mario DeMarco's son Liam, who does not have ADHD, is part of the control group in the study. Liam's twin brother does have ADHD, which medication has helped to control. We didn't want to put our child on medication because that's a taboo. Like perhaps it's something that we were doing wrong as parents, but uh, afterwards when he actually went on to the medication, his uh, behavior improved uh, dramatically. ADHD is often thought of as a behavioral disorder, but research has shown it is a brain-based neurodevelopmental disorder. It is often treated with a medication called methylphenidate, which is more commonly known by one of its trade names, Ritalin. Hale and a team of medical experts and scientists from AHS and the University of Calgary will examine the effects of methylphenidate on the prefrontal cortex, the area of the brain responsible for focused attention, problem solving, control of emotions and goal-directed behavior. One of the things that happens with ADHD is they want to do the right thing but they often don't do it and they don't know why. And so often parents or other people who don't understand ADHD will blame the child for, for not doing the right thing because they know the right thing to do, but because the brain boss isn't working right, it doesn't say, do that now. You know? And so that's one of the things the medication will do. It will make them think first before they act. And so that will allow them to say, oh, the teacher said put away my books now. If I put away my books now, I won't get in trouble. So that's what the medication can do, is get them to kind of slow down, think first, and then maybe choose the right thing to do. The study will involve 120 children from the Calgary area, including 100 diagnosed with ADHD and another 20 who do not have ADHD. In addition to weekly neuropsychological testing, behavior ratings, and classroom observations, the team will use magnetic resonance imaging facilities at Alberta Children's Hospital to understand how the medication is affecting neural activity. Children in the study with ADHD will be monitored for six months and evaluated at the end to see the impact treatment has had on their learning and behavior. So we want to make sure that uh, if a child is treated with medication, the medication is effective and it uh, leads to long-term gains in both uh, their behavior but also their academic functioning as well.